Welcome back. We are finishing off the show today with Ron Norman, based out of Brentwood Bay in Victoria, close to Victoria, my old stomping grounds. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Yes, you are in town and you are going to be doing a book signing for this book that you have written. It's called Slouching Towards Innocence. It's a fictional book having to do with BC politics, so nobody's yes. getting busted. Um, but what an interesting read this must be. Tell me a little bit about the inspiration. Well, uh, I worked in government for a long time and I was uh, in communications and I had an idea about uh, what would happen if a young guy came right out of university and, and started working in communications and got hired into the Premier's office and, and kind of some of the things that he might uh, encounter. And so that was the kind of the start point of my novel so that it is about a young guy named Malcolm Bidwell who gets hired by accident so it's a it's a funny book there's a lot of humor in it uh, into government and uh, and it goes from there it's kind of like um, House of Cards meets Veep so there's kind of serious funny set in Victoria so that's yeah. awesome yeah um, being uh, BC politics being what they are uh, fairly dramatic a lot of twists and turns in recent years uh, is there anything that sort of ties in even though it's fictional are we seeing anything that sort of resembles uh, what's been going on in BC politics I think there's there it, it's kind of cyclical this stuff yes. so you, so I think there's always so there's a there's a sex scandal in there there's a politician who gets in trouble for um, bad election uh, practices so I think those are all things that that we've seen in the past it's mm -hmm. not necessary that I'm drawing on those but I think there's and we'll see them again for sure this is easy for this is easy material for you to write about simply because you've been a journalist you've been a newspaper columnist and community papers around the province uh, you worked uh, as uh, in communications for the the BC government you were uh, the deputy minister for communications yes. yeah. let's yeah. talk a little bit about that what kind of experience was that yeah that was interesting because I got to see so I sat right at the table when they made decisions around stuff so I, I, I knew the premier met with the premier helped in give some counsel to uh, the premier and cabinet ministers and this is the Gordon Campbell years yes absolutely okay. and so so you kind of saw how decisions were arrived at and kind of what went into them. You saw some of the political jockeying that went on firsthand. I also dealt with the press gallery directly. So people like Vaughn Palmer and Keith Baldry uh, dealt with them on, an, on a daily basis. So you get to see, a, and I dealt with the bureaucracy. So I get, in the position I was in, I got to see uh, the whole thing. And so it really helped kind of in the writing, for sure. So what is sort of the general storyline of this? Is it just different stories for each uh, chapter or is it no, actually flow? He's, he's, there is a flow. He, he gets hired by accident, but then he becomes, he, he's very good at what he does and he becomes the Premier's right-hand man and helps fix up a bunch of scandals and messes that occur. Mm. Um, but his girlfriend and he start to have a falling out over some of this. He starts to make some poor choices because he's young and he hasn't been through a lot and so you know when you're young uh, and unfortunately his poor choices are on a big stage mm -hmm. and so people notice them and sure. so it's there's a bit of an avid flow around that mm -hmm. and so uh, and the premier the cover is a is a fellow with a crow on it and that I won't give too much away mm -hmm. but the premier has an encounter with a crow that lands him in court so that's kind of the essence of the cover and, it's, and, it's, and it is humorous for sure that's awesome uh, so this is something that you haven't stopped at one you, you have no. another book on the way yes I'm halfway through my next one and it's, it's a different one altogether people have asked me if I'm gonna write a sequel right and I've kind of said no I may you know never say never sure but for the next one I want to do something different I want and so it's a family story it's mm -hmm. more about uh, relationships and a bit different yes. angle yeah but when it comes to slouching towards innocent who who would be uh, you know most enjoying this would you say I think uh, people who kind of like uh, humor for for sure because it's very funny uh, po political uh, you know it's, it gives it pulls back the curtain on BC you know what goes on inside and I think people would, would like to see that yes. and I think uh, uh, if you like like I say if you like House of Cards and Veep you this is around the same thing except on a on a provincial local scale so you'll recognize yeah. a bunch of the things locally fantastic yeah. it sounds like you've had a very interesting career now it's launched you into another chapter of your yeah. life which Thanks. is fantastic yeah. Yeah, yeah. you are doing a book signing coming up on Saturday at one o'clock uh, after Remembrance Day ceremonies are over yes. you'd like people to come down and meet you yeah at chapters mm -hmm. here here in Kamloops uh, Peter Pignata is the one I've been dealing with he's been great mm -hmm. I have to say and I'm really I'm really excited to be in chapters I've got a family in uh, Kelowna or excuse me family in Kamloops and my, I have a cousin here and a sister-in-law and all that, so it's really nice to get here. And you've also spent some time in the Caribou, haven't you? You were a ranch hand in the Caribou at one point. <laughs> I looked that up. Oh yeah. Okay. My wife laughs at that. Yeah. Because she was actually grew up in Falkland on a ranch. Okay. And so she knows what it's like. But when I put that, she goes, "Really? You're going to put that?" I worked for a short time as, <laughs> as a ranch hand, uh, but I, I wouldn't say it was. She, she, I wouldn't say it was like. Uh, but I but I put it because it was kind of okay, humorous. Why not? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, this is great. I'm really glad you stopped by, uh, and you're from the island as well. Yeah. So it's great to. 
to meet you, and uh, I wish you continued success with your next book. Thanks very much. Yes. Uh, Ron Norman joining us uh, in Chapters this Saturday at 1 o'clock. If you would like to come by, pick up a copy of his book, have it signed, uh, talk with him a bit about it, you're welcome to do that. Information on the screen. You can also reach out via his website uh, or by Twitter. The handle is right there on the screen.